not the same Couple thousand in my pocket, this pocket chain Rubber bands on my arm, this is not for play I put 20 on the crib, but you copper chain uh, I know they hate it or love it, hate it or love. You know I love when they hate it love when they Last hate year it. was living basic nah, nah, nah. Haters on the other side Three up, three between the lines Know I got some mangers with me Made it through some evil times Late night on some demon time Pour this bright, I need love I can't, I can't see the line Free time Brainstorm you can assume with your chains on. Chain. I can see none with the lights off. Cap, you been the main one. Cooling when I got my mains on. Show money, but those aren't the same ones. I've been told you that it was game on. Been winning since I was on game one. Go, go, go. Telling me how to live like you made me. Go, dog, man, I blame you, made me. Money longer than a grown up baby. Scat crazy, me a new Mercedes. Thinking that's 550. Yeah. Five seats, fit the kids in there. Yeah. Prime steak on my dinner plate. Mikey Tech for the dinner. Where? Flex up. Flex up. Never a play. Driving on the road like I'm the only one Shooting to the green, I talk a hole in one Bible on the dash, they with the holy one I know I put in work, they didn't notice none Switch gears, clubhouse, took me six years Marble floors, gold trim, feel like I'm Richie Rich Italian left, French sway, I mix the fist sick Quick claws, take a risk, we play for the win Might spend a mill at the rug store like Manafort But making purchases you can't afford I move the money like a C Uh, if you don't speak, then you won't get spoken to People only see you when you up, then they notice you Trying to be a legend, cray lines is quotable Only the real shall last, and I only know a few People when they feelings always acting emotional Ain't about a check, then it ain't negotiable uh -huh. Gotta show respect to the people that's posting you Soon to be on posters, posted up like the older dudes Now we aging like fine wine, how we both to do Peep the shade on the timelines, this time posted cool What's up guys? Welcome to today's class. Super excited to have all of you guys in the chat hanging out with me today. Today I'm going to be going over how to cut thick hair and really just some texturizing techniques to help take bulk out of hair. Um, this isn't going to be a full haircut, but I'm sure at the end it'll look like a full haircut. Um, I do have one longer hair um, mannequin that we're going to be working with and then I have a male mannequin as well. So I want to show you guys two different ways, one way on short hair, one way on long hair uh, that you can remove that bulk. I also just want to hang out with you guys, have some fun. We're going to be using my tool uh, that we came out with, patent pending. Uh, we've been selling it for about a year now. Super excited about this thing, love it. Uh, I cut hair with it all the time. This is the Tri Razor by Free Salon Education. Let me see if I can get out of the way. Um, it is a, oh, it's gonna focus on my face. This is important, not my face. Um, it is a three-sided razor. One side cuts 25% of the hair, one side cuts 50% of the hair, and then the other side cuts 100%. So you have all the different options in one tool. It fits just in your pocket, uh, it's safe. Um, and you can use it on wet hair, dry hair. You can use it in all different aspects of hair cutting. So today I'm gonna do that with you guys. Uh, I want to see where you guys are from, so make sure you post that in the chat. Uh, very thick hair, hairdresser cuts with a razor, and my hair, uh, da -da -da, and my hair is all one length. Never been one length. Okay. I don't know if that's a statement or a question, uh, but if they cut with a razor, I think with thick hair, a razor is one of the best options. I know a lot of people freak out about a razor. It leaves a softer edge than a blunt scissor. But for me, when you have thicker hair, that soft edge is very beneficial. So the number one thing, uh, when like those of you guys out there that get razor cuts to know is that you wanna make sure that the hairdresser that's doing your haircut has a fresh blade in the razor that should be a given um, we shouldn't have to talk about that but it should be a fresh blade um, and also 
hairdressers out there, make sure that you're changing your blades um, as you go in and do haircuts because a razor blade is actually sharper than a scissor, right? So um, if you look at the edge of a razor. Now, some razor blades are flimsy, um, but when you look at the tri-razor, um, you can take it apart, you can replace the blades uh, just like this, but it has a backing on it so it makes the razor blade really stiff and th uh, firm. <laughs> it makes it stiff and firm. That's where I'm going. Uh, but it makes the razor blade firm so that way there's no flexibility and it has a better grip, a better cut on the hair. So you could put it into each side. You put all three blades into it. When you purchase one of these, it comes with all three blades as well. Um, and then you just snap the top back on it like so snap these corners in, and then you have this little top that goes onto it, and you got your razor put together. So we do sell them on our online store. So as I'm cutting today, if you guys wanna check it out, um, go to shopfse.com, and you can purchase it, it's $44.95. We sell it worldwide, we have shipping worldwide. And also you can buy replacement blades on our website as well. Um, so you can load up on all that. Who do we got in the chat today? A lot of thick hair people watching, super cool. Um, what's up, Christina? Good to see you. We got Ohio in the house, Texas, Cross Plains, Tennessee, Philippines, Holland, Cornwall, England. Look at this. Lynn, what's up? Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, miss the uh, virtual cutting club days. We got to get back to doing that. Maybe this winter we'll do it again, um, which used to be our Zoom classes that we would do uh, on Mondays. Let's see. All right, cool. Good to see all of you guys. Keep chatting. That's what this is all about. Get to know each other, talk to each other, ask questions in the chat. If you have a question for me, type Q and put in your question. Uh, that way I can see it when the chat's going through. I have a couple different screens. You can see one behind me right here. Um, I can see your chat there. You can also see it on this computer screen as well. So a lot of ways for you guys to reach out and, uh, and be a part of it. All right, sweet. Uh, we're also live on Minerva Beauty's Facebook channel as well. So uh, make sure you guys, if you're looking for salon furniture, check out my friends at minervabeauty.com. They have the best prices and also, um, you know, they're local here in the United States. If you're in the United States, obviously, if you're not, they're not local, but um, quick shipping. They got a whole warehouse full of beautiful furniture uh, and also tools. So go check out minervabeauty.com. They've been a supporter of what I do here at Free Salon Education for a long time. So make sure you guys support them. All right. Da, da, da. Good to go. Now let me pop over to the mannequin head. Uh, like I said, guys, today um, is going to be just kind of a fun uh, fun way of removing weight from different parts of a haircut. Now, I'm sure that you guys have all had this challenge, whether you're a hairdresser or you get your hair cut somewhere by a professional, hopefully. Um, when you leave or you're cutting your client's hair and you just feel like a part of it is super heavy, well, I'm gonna show you guys a couple ways to just take out weight. I also wanna show you guys, just if you have thick hair in general, uh, ways to go underneath of a haircut. So that's what we're gonna go over first. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to remove weight from the underneath of a haircut without creating too much layering because when we have thick hair, a lot of times we cut too many layers in the haircut and then thick hair just blows up anyways. So what I wanna do is I wanna keep this hair nice and sleek in the back. I don't wanna create a ton of layering through it. Um, and obviously this mannequin probably has thinner hair than you do out there. I understand that. Um, we're going to pretend today. We're pretending it's cool. Don't get upset about it. These are techniques that I would do on thick hair. Um, so then I wanna go in and I'm gonna show you guys face framing techniques that will help take weight out of the face frame. And I'm gonna show you guys how to cut on short hair uh, and remove some weight as well. All using the tri-razor um, because this is my favorite tool for doing it. So I'm going to show it to you guys. Yes, it's my favorite tool because we sell it and we came out with it, but I wouldn't have came out with it and paid the money to get the molding and all of that if it wasn't designed to be everything that I love uh, in my hand when cutting hair. So that's kind of where it all comes into play. So I'm gonna talk about it a lot. You might not have one. I think you should go get one. I would really appreciate it. And I think you'll love it. I know you'll love it. I'm seeing people all over the internet cutting hair with it. So super fun. 
Uh, all right, and there's a whole bunch of techniques that we've already put on our channel with full haircuts on using this as well. Okay, so let me move into the back of the head. I'm gonna zoom in here. Those of you guys that are new to the live classes, the channel, you guys know that I put out videos on Facebook and YouTube all the time. Well, those videos come from these live classes. I film them and then I chop them up into shorter videos that are a little easier to uh, consume. So I like the live classes so I can get involved in the chat with you guys and just kind of have some fun on here, but just know that this will be a shorter version as well. Okay, so already when you assess somebody's hair, you can see um, this was already a layered haircut, um, but you can see where the weight and the density gets heavier because as you look at this haircut, this part you can't see through. You can kind of see that shift of weight right there. And then underneath here, that's where the layers have kind of removed the weight. So what I don't want to do is I don't want to go in and thin this area of the head anymore. So what I do want to do is come underneath here. So what I'll lock this in real quick. So I'm going to take a V shape out of the back. The reason I take this V shape is because the head shape works on a round as well. And I want to stay away from the hairline underneath here. I'll show you guys more of that in a second. Then what I'm going to do is once I get that V shape right there, lock this in. Once I get that V shape, now I'm going to cut across that low crown area with a horizontal line, just like that. And then I'm going to draw another diagonal on this side. I'll come through here and I'm just gonna work diagonal back to that line. Now this doesn't have to be fully perfect, guys, so don't stress about that. Just try to get as clean lines as you can and try to get it as balanced as you can. I'll twist it up, clip it away. So now I've got the crown of the head out. The reason I want the crown of the head out is because this is the layers that are gonna blanket over. This is the bulk that I'm seeing in the haircut. So what I can do here is come in and then at mid shaft, you get your uh, questions chat up here. There we go, cool. Here we go. What's up Jess, good to see you. Everybody was very worried that you were not here. All right, and this is a one o'clock class, so it's super late. All right, I'm gonna take away this at the bottom of the screen. So if you guys could, if somebody starts asking where to pick up a tri razor, please tell them shop FSE in the chat. Uh, it'd be very, very helpful. All right, so I take a horizontal section. Now this is after I finish my haircut, right? So I've done a haircut and now I just want to remove some of the bulk throughout the cut. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. I can see that there's not much density in this area all the density kind of sits in that mid shaft. So what I want to do is I want to come through. I'm going to take the 25 texture side. So let me show you. Uh, let me back up a little bit. See if it'll show. There you go. So 25 texture side. So what it does is it feeds hair into the blade in certain areas and blocks it in others. So what I'm going to do with that is take a horizontal section, drop my comb. It's cool. All right, horizontal section, bring the hair out. I want my section about as wide as the tri razor. Go to the 25 texture side and about mid shaft, I'm just gonna glide out of the hair. So what that does, is it removes 25%. But what's gonna happen is that just kind of disappears into the hair, right? You don't wanna go overboard with that but if you just take out a little bit of that hair, you wanna go mid shaft, don't go so close to the base. I'm gonna do the same thing, just take a little section out here. And this is where that bulk is, guys. So here, light density, bulk gets through that middle. So I come in here, mid shaft to ends. So right here, slide through, take out 25% of the hair. It's not a ton of hair, and those become kind of seamless layers. You don't even see it throughout. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here. 
take out the size of the tri razor just like that 25 texture and go through just like that now i'm going to move up this section just a little bit so i'll go about one more half inch three quarters of an inch still got this blanket of hair that's going to fall on the back section that away grab a horizontal section and we're just going to slide across the surface 25 percent slide through work my way down now the other great part about this little quick technique to remove just a little bit of weight is the fact that it doesn't mess up if they want to wear their hair in a ponytail put it back put it up whatever this hair that's in here isn't going to fall out because that's the majority of where you're tying it up anyways. So another horizontal section. There we go. Halfway, slide, take it out. So now I let this layering kind of come over. I can assess how this hair looks, see where my density is. And then as I look into it, if I see like little bits of these layers that I want to remove, that's when I go into the texture 50 side. So right here, you're going to see texture 50. Now that 50 means 50%, right? And I don't want to go grinding into the hair like this. But what I will do is because these teeth are wider and it exposes more of the blade uh, in between each spot, I will use the corner of this as kind of a dry cutting tool. So grab my cutting stool real quick. So I can sit and focus on this for a sec. But as I look in here, I'm like, oh, I want to remove just a little bit of weight from there. So I take that texture 50 and I can just kind of softly remove a little bit of weight. So it's really soft details on the surface of the hair and just allows me to slide through there. Just using that end tooth on the tri razor. So then it starts to soften everything and it doesn't over layer it. You're literally looking at, and if some of you guys don't understand, like when you look at a, a portion of hair and see some bulkiness, like right here, I see it. So I just go in texture 50 and just soften the edge which is basically the same thing as elevating. It just, with a razor, you can draw it on. And pass it through. Just remove a little bit of that bulk. So now I've got a nice kind of soft result throughout the back, invisible layers underneath that remove bulk, but they don't show through. Um, and then we can move in to the front. Does anybody have any questions on that portion of the class, on the back? Make sure you type Q, put in your question. There we go. All right, I'm gonna pop here real quick. So what do you guys think of that so far? Let me know in the comments. I wanna see. Where are we at? Where do we buy these, please? Let me see, let me put up the link again. Uh, for those of you guys, Shop FSE is our online store. Um, you can go on there. All right, just read into the chat. Jess, I gotta be honest, I'm reading your comments and uh, you know, this is an internet show, but um, I just feel really, I'm just thinking about you and your family and uh, I hope everything is fine and works out. I'm, I'm sure everything will be good. So stay positive. Um, Hard to read a chat like that and, and be live on the internet. 
So, um, but I'm sure everything will be fine. And uh, don't worry about any of that. You can chat as much as you want. All right. We all have kids and we all think about that stuff. So um, make sure everything's good. Okay. Uh, all right. Is it better to razor on dry hair? I was always taught to only razor wet hair. So here's the thought process on, on razoring dry hair. For me, um, like I said, as long as it's a fresh blade, it's fine. And they don't have damaged hair, right? So if they have damaged hair, I wouldn't slide cut dry with scissor and I wouldn't do it with a razor. Um, I would make sure that I go in and I do blunt cutting. And actually, let me share a little tip with you guys when hair is damaged. And that way, that can kind of help you guys as well. Um, and Lynn, I see you there. I will look for Lana's question. Oh, wait, I'm answering her question now. Okay, sweet. So, Lana. So, a couple things I like to do. So, I would do this on dry hair. Again, if it's damaged hair though, if I'm going through and I see some ends that seem to be a little bit frayed, um, for instance, let's look at this kind of soft edge that's on this haircut here. You can see uh, around her face how it, um, it gets really soft and frizzy. So what I like to do is I will lift up and I'll discuss with my client that I need to remove one inch of this hair. And once I remove that one inch of hair, let's say we're here and I pop that becomes fresh, right? Then when I have that fresh, I can then go in Uh, then I can go in and I can hold this here. I've got my fresh line and then I can go in with maybe a 25 texture and just remove just a little bit of weight from that and it will make it nice and soft. So you don't have to worry so much about the fact that um, if they have damaged hair, you just cut the damage off. And then you can start going in. You got a fresh kind of canvas to work on there. All right. This is the kind of stuff I don't. Hello, I see you. Um, I I try to answer everyone. It's just sometimes you uh, the chat is flying through. We're live uh, in front of about seven hundred people, so the chat, my chat on my end goes by quick. That's why I want you guys to put a cue um, in front of your question, like Re Ryan, right? Ryan on. That's a sweet name. Um, how long does it take, take to ship to the UK? Uh, it takes about, I guess it depends. Um, sometimes it comes quick and sometimes it takes a little bit, really just depends on US mail. But we do ship priority mail when it's shipped out. Um, let's see. All right, now I'm gonna go back to this. Uh, does it work for curly hair? Yes, it does work for curly hair works great on curly hair. The biggest challenge um, with curly hair is that sometimes curly hair gets a little bit more damaged because there's a lot more styling process that goes into it. Somebody straightens their hair a little bit more. Um, they force and change the bonds in the hair quite a bit. So there could be damage. So my recommendation would be to make sure that they have clean ends and then go in and do any of the texturizing you want. Also, curly hair sits different than straight hair does. So I mean, obviously, but what I mean by that is curly hair stacks up quick and, and goes. If you carve into it with 25 texture, take out 25% of the hair, it might make it stick more up, right? So, cause you're, you're cutting some hair shorter. And when curly hair is short, it sticks out straight. When it's longer, it starts to lay down and relax. So you really just have to be careful, you understand the style that you're going for. Um, if I'm just layering hair, I could go and take 25% out and it might actually kick up a little bit of volume and you might want that. So you just gotta be aware of it. Um, so yes, Judy, it will work for sure. Um, will this work on thin hair? So 
on thin hair, Meredith, that's a little bit different story, right? So you can create texture this way. And honestly, um, with the tri razor on thin hair, I actually like it a lot because of the fact that um, instead of doing standard layers, which would remove a ton of bulk. So let's go back to the mannequin. So instead of coming in here, right? And going through and adding a ton of layers, like cutting this whole line off. When you do that, it thins out the whole section. So if you don't want to thin out everything and you just want to add a little bit of layering to the hair, my recommendation is not to go horizontally in the hair. That's just to remove weight, not so much to create the layering. I would go vertical. So I would hold the hair like this and then I would slide either my 50% or 25 texture and just slide it through and out. So like this, so I take this and I slide it just like that and work it through. And what that does is it actually creates layers, but it doesn't layer every single hair. So the benefit of that is that you get movement and texture within your cut, but you don't lose as much on your base, if that makes sense. So we go through and we can do that. All right, where else are we at here? So now I wanna take out weight in the face frame, okay? So, mine frizzes in humidity and I hate it. All right, Meredith, that's another part of the question. So with humidity um, and cutting layers, it's okay. Again, I think humidity is all based on hair product. So really finding humidity resistant hair products is gonna be your go-to, uh, your best bet on that. So just make sure that you um, you're using some kind of either a serum or like a cream gel, um, hot off the, like, so if we talk about Paul Mitchell products, cause that's what I use, um, use Paul Mitchell hot off the press. That's a humidity resistant and a thermal protectant. So you could spray that on the hair. Um, illuminating shine spray, Awapui Wild Ginger. That product I love cause it's, an, it's sort of an oil base, but it's an aerosol delivery. So it goes on the hair light. Um, so it's good still for thin hair. Uh, it doesn't get too heavy and that's kind of the goal. So if you use a serum, sometimes those are a little bit heavier. So, you know, there's, there's endless options, but I don't think it's so much a haircut. Make sure you get your haircut to be healthy. Um, and then you can do some texturizing techniques, but then for humidity, make sure you're using products. Too many people don't use products and then they wonder why their hair doesn't look that good. Well, products are the key to that. All right. In Ireland, can I can buy in hairdresser shops? At this point, no. We only sell direct through our website. Um, we haven't started working with distributors at this point. Um, trying to kind of keep it in house. Uh, eventually, we will. But um, just ordering straight off shop FSE is the best bet. Um, And that way, with the free education that we do, all the money, like it, financially, it just makes sense too. Um, so it might take a little bit for it to get to Ireland. It won't take forever, but it might take a little bit, but you'll be supporting free salon education. And we appreciate it very, very much. Um, let me see here. And I do wanna say, I'm gonna do a shout out real quick. Um, to, oh, Raya Anon, whose name I love, purchased a tri razor. I get uh, alerts anytime, so I just wanna give a shout out. And she's in the UK, so thank you so much. And just so you guys know, it's me and my wife that run Free Salon Education together. We're the only team uh, in-house and so she's over there shipping them and I'm in here selling them. So uh, I appreciate all of you guys. Okay. And if somebody else ordered one in the last couple of seconds, um, thank you as well. I'll try to give shout outs as I see them come through. All right. Okay, so let's keep cutting. So I wanna go back over and Right in here, so now let's work the face frame. So I already kind of started taking weight out of this side of the face, but you can see 
um, just from those couple passes, how, um, how thick, how soft this kind of looks, and then how it starts to look a little bulkier on this side. So what I wanna do is I wanna go in, I'm gonna show you guys a couple things. First thing is, let's take the fringe area. So if I cut down here, not cut, if I take a parting down here, and basically leave in, take out this fringe area. So I'll clip that away. Then I'm gonna go right above the parietal ridge here, and I'm gonna clip this section away as well. I'll zoom in on all this so you guys can see. Oh, here we go. So it's pronounced re and on re -an on Rhiannon? re -an on Thank you. I appreciate it. It's hilarious, too, because that's probably like an easy, <laughs> an easy name, and I'm just totally screwing it up. So I apologize. Um, all right, so sectioning here. Take out the fringe. Take out a little triangle. Then come up here. Go across parietal ridge and just section that top away. Now you've got only the underneath that you're dealing with. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start taking a vertical section, just like this, bringing it over to me, like this. Yeah, like Rihanna, but Rihanna, none, got it. You guys are the best. All right, so I bring this over vertical, just like that. Now, again, you could take 50%. If they have super thick hair, this is a little bit thinner hair. So I'm gonna go 25. I'm gonna go through here, remove 25%, let that fall. Now, we're keeping our length, okay? But if I wanna pop a little face frame layering in, then I can go to my 100% uh, cutting side and just kind of work a line down and add in just little pieces that go around the face. Now I'm gonna grab my iron so I can really show you what those look like. And we'll create just a few little pieces around the face I'll bring a little bit more over here and just softly cut through. So now we took out some bulk, we got the layers, and then I can take this top part down as well. But I just want to iron it out so you guys can see. And this could obviously be curled off the face as well, which would be more on trend. But I just want to show you guys what it looks like with just literally one swipe of the razor. And the thing I like about a razor is that it doesn't overcomplicate things. So like, I don't even have to worry about elevation so much. So you can see those pieces around the face just like that. So now I'm gonna drop down this top portion which still gives me length and fullness, but sleeks everything up a little bit. And then just to tie in those little pieces around the face, I'll just softly cut just around the face, tiniest bit, but then it's going to start to debulk the area. So you can see how it goes from feeling super thick over there to now getting nice and skinny. Comb that fringe area down. It's gonna look skinnier even than the other side. I'll come over here and then just softly texturize into it. I can flow back off the face. I can even take this and just do a little, go 25, 
and just soften into it. Now I'm just really surface cutting that. I'm not carving into it too much because if I, if I go too deep, it's just gonna cut the hair right off. So I wanna softly go in and cut. And then when you see this with the iron, you'll see how soft it just kind of flows back off the face. Go right here, soft little twist. Just like that. I'll show you guys. You can see how soft it flows through. Let's see if I can show you both sides here. Now they're both kind of nice and sleek. Just removing a tiny bit of weight can make a big difference in, see how it kind of drags out there. This just pops a little bit of length up, just kind of works throughout. All right. <laughs> Thanks guys, I appreciate it. All right. The noise is amplified just because of the uh, microphone here. All right, look at this man. This gentleman is, uh, he just woke up. He's from uh, Australia. I don't know if you guys know, but it's super late there. Super early. <laughs> and uh, we're going to give him a little bit, a little bit of a makeover, but he's pretty rough. So you come in here, I'm gonna wet his hair down. His hair is a little thinner than I thought it was, but felt thick with all that product in there. This will serve the purpose though. <laughs> what is it called when you guys, like when people listen to sounds and it's like soothing or whatever? forget the exact what it is but <laughs> no I'm not saying he looks like he's from Australia I'm saying that he looks like he just woke up so he must be from Australia bad joke all right parietal ridge up and over Right there. White noise, ASMR, that's what it is. I don't think razor cutting falls into that category. Maybe it does though. All right. So first off, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I wanna do a little scissor over comb work because his hair is a little funky. I'm gonna go right in here. I'm just gonna lift up a little bit of this hair and work scissor over comb and just blend this a bit. Just changing up the style so I don't want him to have this long hair on the sides. Come through. Almost there. Okay, so now it's good enough for now. We are going to remove bulk and create texture in short hair. This could be for anyone 
any human being on the planet that has short hair. Um, let me see if I can zoom in the top. Totally can. All right. So anyone on the planet that has short hair can wear this, can do this, that has short, thick hair. Um, thinner hair, you could do it, you just gotta do it less um, because it will still create texture, but you don't want it to create too much. So what we'll do, center parting, we're gonna work side to side. This is a great, so you guys know that haircut that everybody's wearing that's like, uh, like all the kids are wearing it and some adults like 20s ages, um, but it's really just messy and big and kind of fluffy on top. They try to make it as fluffy as possible. Well, some of these kids come in and they have super thick hair um, and the, there's too much hair to create movement. You gotta create space in between um, each little bit of hair in a section. Tri razor is great for that because that's what it does. So I wanna show you guys how I would go about, if I had a kid, I already did his haircut, right? So I already was making the hair um, kind of go with the style. I already cut the style in, but it looks a little fluffy. Here is my technique for that. We got my tri razor right here. So we got the tri razor. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go about two inches back from the hairline. Don't wanna do it right on the hairline. I'm gonna go about two inches back, comb that back. And for education's sake, I'm gonna clip this away. Probably wouldn't in the salon. And then I'm going to grab a small section diagonally right here. I grab that small section diagonally and then I go in 25 texture right here and I work about an inch off the head and remove 25%, cut that out. And I grab my clip, comb the hair. Now I'm working on a center parting and then I'm working diagonal back partings through. So here, comb this back. Again, in the salon, this is how I would do it here. Comb this hair up to me like this, 25 texture, slide it through remove some of that bulk. And I'll continue all the way back through this section. Bring that hair to me, 25 texture, remove the bulk and just continue through. Pretty simple. And honestly, anybody that has short hair, you could do this technique on. It, ton, it adds a ton of texture, volume in a haircut and removes weight. So. It's a win all around. Same thing on this side, diagonal section, two inches back, don't do it on the hairline. Here, bring that hair to me, 25 texture, slide out. Section, 25 texture, slide out. And you just work through it. So see how fast this happens? Salon reality here, work it through all the way into the back and cut. It's like that. So there we go. Now I'll show you guys in the front view here. Man, he's looking better already. He just took a shower, almost ready for his day. So now I'm gonna blow dry his hair because I wanna try to show you guys, hopefully it'll show up on camera, how this texture plays in. I'll blow dry around his beard. Just kidding. Work through it.
All right. All right, so actually this is a good pause moment because if you look at right, I can tilt it a little bit. So let me see if I can zoom in on that part. So if you look at right in there, like how that looks like it has like that texturized effect Let's see if here too like a little bit of a texturized effect i know it's a little dark but you can see how that movement happens in there so there's some long pieces or some short but it all makes sense and goes together and then for that style that all these kids are wearing you can take like what i like to do is use like a product like Reformer, which is uh, a Paul Mitchell Mitch product. Um, and I like to, it's a cream base. So it's got this kind of white matte finish feel to it. I just take a tiny bit because these kids don't want to put a lot of product in their hair. And what I'll do is I'll put it all through my hands like this, right? And then I just kind of just softly scrunch into it. Like I don't really mess with it too much but it starts to actually build up a little wave in the hair. And then I would probably cut this front a little bit shorter, but you guys get the gist. And if I wanted to cut the front a little bit shorter, so that texture really plays a role in keeping and holding this up. So you can kind of see how that's starting to play out. And then with the tri razor, I can go in, do I have a towel? Yeah, I do. I could go in and actually remove just a tiny bit of that front. So use, again, 50, just because that has the most blade. So I'll go through here, cut into it. You can use 100 too if you want. That way you know everything you kind of touch in there is going to get cut but you can just take off a little bit right around the eye so it's not sitting in their eye. So then you can see all the texture, nice little messy with a purpose look. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments. It reminds me of the dude from Castaway, but he had a shower and a groom. Yes, very true. All right, so what do you guys think? Did you enjoy, did you enjoy the class? Do you apprentice people? If so, how do people get the opportunity for that? Crystal, at this moment, um, I'm not looking for an apprentice, but always keep in touch with, the, uh, with everything we're doing. And when I do, um, when I am looking for one, we'll do it. I am looking for a barber though. So if anybody is a barber, and in the Philadelphia area, um, Bucks County area, I got an open chair and I got clients for you. And uh, we're pretty fun to work with here. So um, if you're a barber, email me uh, and let me know or send me a DM or whatever. Uh, and Crystal, keep in touch. And uh, if that ever happens and you're in this area, then totally. Uh, can you try razor work on beards? So I wouldn't probably use a tri razor on a beard because I don't, I don't, I can't think of a scenario where I would want to, um, where I would use any razor tool besides like 
face shaving razor. So, um, so yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, that's what I like to hear. So if you guys would like to purchase a tri razor, um, go to shopfse.com. It's $44.95, uh, and I really appreciate it, obviously. Um, you know, we create free salon education, and we have tools to sell. And if you guys need tools, want to upgrade any of your tools, use our online store. I'd be very grateful. Um, let's see. Anything else? Got to go. Good to watch this. Need to go to CNN. Okay. Uh, hopefully you mean to work. Uh, let's see. My clients always comment on how cool the tri razor is. Awesome. Love hearing that. All right, sweet guys. Well, I appreciate everything. Uh, let me see. A few more shout outs here. For those of you guys that ordered, Let's see where we're at. What's crazy is I'm seeing as you guys are ordering, they're already fulfilled. So they're already about to ship out. After this class, I'll probably be running to the post office to mail them. So um, I appreciate it. Uh, Yanira, thank you. May, thank you. Kelly, thank you very much. Um, Morgan, thank you. Kevin, Monica, Mandy, all of you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for placing orders with Shop FSE during the show. Yes, this is a great, okay. I love this. Let me show you a couple things. If you guys keep asking questions, we can go all day. So just so you know, actually we can't. I have a 2.30 client, but... Still got time. Can you twist a section to create texture? 100% yes. Let me show you some fun things you can do. And actually, I'm going to show you guys another cool little trick here. Zoom in a bit. You guys like curtain fringe, I'm sure. So watch this. I take triangle out of the front, basically hairline to hairline. So I get my triangle like that. And then when I have that triangle, I put the comb in. Actually, let me see if I go overhead. Whoa. Okay, so I got my triangle, put the comb in like this, and then I hold the hair, pinch it, and I twist the section in my comb. So see how it starts to force everything over? So let me do it again. So I comb like this, twist like that, and then all I have to do is I can go in, I like to use the 50 texture uh, portion because as I'm cutting this, that's only cutting a little bit from each side. So it's softening the section. Now, what does the twist do? So then this way, you guys can kind of see it. This is gonna be a little more of a texture bang, but whatever. What does a twist do in the hair? So when I twist that hair, it over directs the one side to the opposite side, which creates extra length. So then, as we comb it out, you get extra length on each side. So I'm gonna do it one more time and grab a little bit more hair like this, bring it in. I got my guide starts to fall out. I twist this hair and now I use the texture 50 side, work through it, cut. Okay. Now I'm going to iron real quick and then I'll show you guys. So when I hit it with the iron, I'll just give it a little bevel. Probably could have done a longer textured 
or longer for a curtain fringe. I got a little excited, and she had no opinion, so I just I just went for it. But you know, you guys will get the gist. You know how much I like to leave the bangs in the eyes. It's my favorite. But you're gonna see how easy it is to stamp in a fringe into the hair. So I want to show you guys what we're left with after that, and then I'm going to do a little tweaking. Obviously, both sides of this cut are different because we did different things, but you'll, you'll understand. We're all smart here. We're smart people. Can I use that razor on bangs? Yes, you can because that's what we just did. So just wait. It's in her eyes. I get it. I'm going to change that. But what I do is I iron it all forward and bend it a little bit. Then I'll come in here, try razor, just soften some of the edges. Soften, soften. Then, as we start to kind of comb over the fringe, it becomes much softer. So you can see how it bevels, and that's because of using the 50 texture side when I cut my line. Otherwise, this would be a thicker blunt line. Like if you twist that, cut it with a scissor, it becomes very thick and blunt. So just going in, see, and now I can, like a pencil, draw out softly the edges. That's right. Look over here. Fringe. Literally just pinch the edges, and I'm not taking much. Just softly, little details through it. I'll take a little worked up. You guys get the gist. It's so funny though, because I forget what I was even showing you guys when I came over here. Oh, twist and then create texture, yes. So now that I've got like this nice little fringe over here, right? Let's say I want to just add a little texture. I could take this piece, twist it like this. Twisting creates over direction. And then you can come in here and just take off some pieces and that'll give you a little pop of texture in there. You could do that anywhere you want. Like literally I could take these pieces, twist them up and then just run the hair through. What is the difference between just grabbing a piece, pinching it and doing that? It changes the different lengths within the section. So then you start to get, you know, these fun little textured pieces. This could create a little bit more of like a shag kind of look or little invisible layers. Think about how you grab individual hairs and paint a little bit of lightener on them and that creates that balayage effect. Well look, you can, uh, you can do that same thing. Do you use Tony and Guy methods? I think I do a lot um, and not because I wasn't technically trained Tony and Guy, um, but when I was in beauty school, I got a box, two box sets of Tony and Guy VHS tapes and I watched them a ton because it was really the only things I had and I loved them. And they did a lot of this kind of more texturized looks and, I, and it was kind of, it's always been my favorite to do. All right. So again, those of you guys just tuning in because you thought that part was interesting, you can get a tri razor at shopfse.com for 44 bucks worldwide. I appreciate all of you guys that have got one. Um, I'm a student at Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy. Sweet, that's super cool. I wish I would have went to a Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy, to be honest. Or a Palm School would have been cool too, but Tony and Guy, it's just, I just love the style of it. Always, always have. All right, 
I think we're good. I think I did a lot today. I think I showed you guys tons of stuff. I hope you guys, if you did purchase a tri I know you're going to love it. Um, if you, you know, can't buy one right now, totally cool. I get it. If you want to try some of these techniques with other tools that you have, I just love the tri razor because it has the three different uh, tools in one and it's literally, you fit it in your back pocket uh, and you can go around cutting everybody's hair at the, the club, wherever you're at. Just, there you go. Look, I got, uh, I can do it now. 10 bucks, buy me a drink. You know, I don't know. You can't do that in COVID times, but you know, maybe in the future. Um, how many tri razors have made it to Australia? A lot. Um, I'm actually so surprised at the amount of tri razors that got ordered in Australia. Um, but as of right now, for some reason, Australia is not allowed to, allowing us to ship. Um, we're still trying to work that out, but the USPS, US Postal Service, is not shipping to Australia right now for some reason. Did you invent that tool? Yes. So, um, you know, I've used a lot of razor tools over the years. You guys have probably seen me use razor tools in my videos. So this idea came from the fact that our logo is a triangle play button. Um, and I wanted to create a three-sided tool that had every tool that I love um, kind of combined in one. And then also uh, find myself making, because of the audience that we built and everything, I just want to start making my own tools because, you know, we, we give a lot of... Um, exposure to things and you know it's free salon education so to keep the education free you know we're in coming out with our own stuff it just makes sense in the evolution of everything so it was our idea we got the patent uh, pending right now um, for the design of the tool and yeah it's super cool I'm, we're proud of it uh, we've been selling it since black friday like november last year um, so i'm excited for uh, kind of the anniversary of that coming up. Let's see. Your EPA, that's close. Super close. Um, absolutely love your videos. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. As of right now, just no. They, uh, for some reason, I don't know what it, I don't know what it is, but. That's super cool. I'd love to meet this person. It's very cool. I will say, and I'm sure that your teacher is one of those people, but I feel like everybody, everybody has a story of working under somebody. So it's super cool. You're very lucky to, uh, to have that though. Um, if it's, you know, I feel like back in the day, like when that probably happened, like when that probably happened, um, it like that was the time. That's the time when hair was like super. I mean, it's fun now, but it was like, imagine coming up with the bob, like for real. Now everybody just mimics everything that was ever taught. But very, very little innovation of, you know, trends just come and go and they tweak them a little bit, but. The originals, like, that's super cool. Um, all right, cool, guys. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I got a client coming in in a minute, so thank you guys so much. Um, it's always fun hanging out with you. Please, if you want, uh, go check out Shop FSE. Tons of stuff on there. Also, you can download our uh, app, FSE Now. If you like these videos and also if you don't want to miss any of the classes, I post those on there. You'll get a notification through the app that we're going to be doing a class. You can always go on the app and check and see when the next class is. Um, and, you know, you can communicate, post your work. We got all the videos in the library. You can search for different haircuts and colors and everything. So it's just a really useful tool and it's free. So go check it out, FSE Now. Um, and that's pretty much it. You guys are great. I will see you guys next time. Be safe, take care, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks so much.
It's no use working 9 to 5 